All right, now drones have grabbed quite a lot of attention worldwide with the endless possibilities that they open up when it comes to surveillance, disaster relief and other such things. Or even perhaps in, in cases of pure fun, uh, startups in the country are now exploring the use of drones in the healthcare sector. Vyond's Nishtita Virendra explores one such startup in Bengaluru. Red Wing Labs, a startup in Bengaluru, has taken up multiple drone sorties in picturesque but remote areas of Papua New Guinea, delivering emergency medicines and drugs. Co-founded by three young engineers, Red Wing was inspired by the alarming rate of mortality during childbirth in India to develop a drone service that enables delivery of medicines in a far-flung area. Started creating um, a drone logistical systems, particularly for the case of mothers undergoing postpartum hemorrhaging. And then we started to realize how um, drone logistics can basically serve uh, for healthcare uh, purposely. So with healthcare, it's very special because your cargo is very less, but it's very special. Blood, oxytocin, tuberculosis samples, vaccines are very low in number, but at the same time it needs to be delivered to someone which needs it immediately. So you need the speed and time to be on your part as well. The pilot project was done in Papua New Guinea after an international NGO approached the team to develop the drones. Distances that were otherwise being covered over three days take a flat 40 minutes now. The accuracy of the drone, its ability to take off and land like a helicopter, have made it possible for it to deliver delicate packages like blood and medicines in an instant. Uh, the payload weight might not be too much, but you can potentially save someone's life. So as opposed to e-commerce deliveries or food deliveries as uh, it's happening in some parts of the world, uh, there's just more value in healthcare because sure, your food might reach you 10-15 minutes late if it's coming by conventional means, but what happens, you get annoyed. But, uh, however, if in a remote area someone doesn't receive their medicines on time, you, uh, you can potentially uh, lose a life. Regulations in India which require that drones remain in sight of the controller have limited the project's development in its home country. Five women die every hour in India during childbirth. Inspired by these figures, a startup in Bengaluru has started delivering medicines in some of the remotest corners of the world using drones. While India continues to be skeptical about drone technology, this startup in the IT capital, Bengaluru, goes on to prove that drones can provide unparalleled service, especially in the healthcare sector. In Bengaluru, with Vidija and Chandan, Mr. Kavirendra, we on World is One.